Hey guys, so let's solve for x. It says x squared is equal to one. Since we have an x squared value, that means it's a quadratic, so let's use the quadratic formula. It says if we have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, we can solve for x by using these coefficients in this formula. So let's copy down this x squared equals one. We need to set it equal to zero. So we're gonna subtract one from both sides. That gives us x squared minus one equals zero. Now it looks like this. So the a is the coefficient for the x squared. That's gonna be a one. So since we don't have a term for x, that means our b is equal to zero. And then c is our constant, and our constant here is negative one, so c equals negative one. Let's copy down the formula. b is zero, so I'm gonna change this b into zero and this b into zero. Now a is equal to one, so let's change this a into a one, and c is equal to negative one, so let's change this c into negative one. And then the a down here is equal to one. Negative zero, we can just call zero. We still have the plus or minus. And then zero squared can just go away. This one and this negative one and this negative in front of the four, they can all just cancel each other out. So we're just left with square root of four. And then two times one is equal to two. We can simplify this further. The zero isn't really doing anything. And then square root of four is equal to two, so we can call this plus or minus two. And then it's still divided by two. And we can simplify this into plus or minus one over one. Or we can say x equals positive one or negative one. So now we don't need this work anymore. And we can bring this up here. If x squared equals one, that means x equals positive one or negative one. Let's put a box around it. How exciting.